Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Bring It On. Let's continue right. exploring Queen's Birth, starting with Queen's Birth District Home. Subtle indeed. <laughs> the work. The moment. More than my eyes be open. A uh, Zap Noah? So plus two to insight, plus one to metaphysics. While Zap Noah is following you around, you gain a bonus to insight and metaphysics. Your entire party also gains a bonus to will. I think that'll be more beneficial while we're exploring the city. Hmm? Then if we know we're going to be in a fight, can I swap to a more combat-oriented pet? Right, let's check out the Valera Estate. I've got it. This gilded frame is flaking. I've read that before. I believe we've read this also. Subtle indeed. <laughs> the work. Hey. Hey. The whole done and done. More than my eyes be open. Yeah, there's no worry. We're gonna be able Ahoy. to steal that. Let's uh, speak to the scribe. We're full up, I'm afraid. If you're looking for lodging, you'll have to hope there's room at the tavern. This family scribe offers you a pleasant smile, but seems preoccupied by other matters. You rent rooms. We do indeed. Forgive me if I mistook you for a tenant. There are quarters set aside upstairs. Passers by with a bit of extra coin will find a welcome cot and a meal. This is a temporary measure, of course. He clears her throat and glances away. Why rent rooms at all, much less for short-term stays? It's not my place to share the dealings of the Valera family, but this is all rather public. She frowns and glances around the ha house self-consciously. Suffice it to say that a family in want of coin might find alternate means of securing their finances. In the case of this estate, that means renting the occasional room. No shame in making a practical sacrifice. But I've said enough. Speak with Atello if you have business with the Valera household. It beckons you on in an anxious, urgent manner. Who's in charge here? You'll find Atello Valera upstairs in his study. How's business? Well, as they say, business can always be better, yes? I'm sure I needn't bore you with the details. The scribe bites her lower lip and diverts her gaze. A farewell. Ooh, have yourself a look at that, mate. Will you? I've read this before as well. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's give Aloth our summons. And 
And all of our scrolls will go to Jody. Taking over the dock fills the dining room and quieter moments. Subtle indeed. It is done. On. What for? This does count as stealing. I'll see what I can find. Aye. But no one's gonna notice. See what I can do. <laughs> Not exactly my area of expert. How may I help? Indeed. Nice and quiet. It really looks like he's outside perception range. I guess not. I see if I inch him in there just a little bit further. Aye. Oh. Well, while we're here, let's speak to Nero Badar Where is my Cardado? Cardado? Where is that spoiled brat? Woman in fine clothes clutches a ledger in both hands. She searches the faces of passersby, settling on yours with an uncertain frown. What seems to be the problem? Laro is past due for a company meeting. Mother wants me to drag the elusive louse back by his ear. She tucks the book under her arm. Must be nice to be a layabout. Uncle Angbert would have tanned my hide. An air points affably in approval. Fuck. I am angry and jealous in equal measure. You'd think this district was a maze, the way he manages to hide. She glances over your shoulder and sighs, and looks back at you with sudden recognition. The spirit magnet. Sientere, that I did not recognize you. If you desire to get in the graces of the Valian Trading Company, we can help each other. What sort of clout do you have with the trading company? Mother's bank commands the wealth of the Deadfire campaign. Nira absently pats the cover of her ledger. Could I persuade you to watch out for Laro? I'd pay generously for your trouble. Study her hands. Nira has been digging her nails into her ledger, leaving crescent moon shaped impressions in the binding. She notices your interest, holds the book protectively close. I. I'm concerned, because Laro tends to feud with Orso, one of the local Valera rats. What did you mean by Valera rat? <laughs> the Valeras. A brood of sea vermin playing at nobility. He hefts her ledger as if to bring it down on a pest. We squabble and compete, but Laro... the Pastenago takes it too far. I take it your mother is someone important. It's Ali Bardato. The Valian Trading Company leans on her to finance their mission. If only more of her offspring were as accomplished. Nero raises her free hand and squeezes the bridge of her nose. If I happen to cross Lauro, I'll let you know. Would you? I'll be waiting at the estate in case he happens to return. Nero thumbs over her shoulder. Laro and his miscreant friends carouse at the tavern, the falls above the Adra Mill, and the southwestern bridge. If you see him, tell Laro to get his good-for-nothing ass back home. 
Well, we do have this thing with chasing a rogue god to the ends of Aora, but I guess if it's on the way. It never hurts to have more favors in your pocket. Especially when you're chasing a uh, Audrey Colossus. I just need all the help you can get. They vary wildly in style, near a nautical bent to most of the paintings. These pots appear to have been made locally. Will do. Happy to oblige. See what I can do. <laughs> the I'll give a moment. Dim in the lantern. I've got it. This vanity seems seldom used, apart from the wash basin. A fine layer of dust is settled on the surrounding tins and jars. Indeed. <laughs> the work of a moment. Valera Captain's Report. Atello, I do not write on behalf of the other captains of your illustrious fleet, but I hope that you understand my voice is still theirs, even if they are too proud to air their air a grievance. You and I have known each other too long to hide our thoughts from one another. I know that money is tight, and that you cannot spend what you do not have. But the Royal Deadfire Incursion and the boldness of the Principe have not made the waters between the Republics and Deadfire any calmer. Our ships are battered and bruised, nearly unrecognizable as they are patched with the flotsam of our defeated foes. We may do with what little we have, but this is an exhausting and hopeless way of life. Send us the coin to make formal repairs, or else we will abandon ship. The next vessel I captain will not bear our family sigil. Please, brother. Captain Brauerboss. Huh? Oh, Barabbas. So I believe we've read this before. I'm not 100% if we've read part two or not. Read that. Okay. Atello Valera has carefully etched his signature into the glass housing this this model. Of this model? Mm -hmm. It's missing a word there. Right, let's ah, speak to him. A new face in the Valera holds. Atello Valera's face is lined and wary, but his coat is tidily buttoned, his posture faultless. Donald, at your service. Courtly manners are welcome here. He inclines his head. My time is not inexhaustible, but I am willing to spare it. He opens his palms and invites you to continue. What can I do for you? What does your family do for the Valian Trading Company? Valera ships escort goods and merchants from island to island across that fire. The Principi dogs show us their stern whenever they spot Valera colors on the horizon. 
Leave it to a swabby from the Republics to think a pirate showing them their rear be a compliment. <laughs> Roland chuckles at his own joke. Farewell. Right, let's speak to Martino Valera. A new face to the Valera Halls. And aren't we all so excited to see you? Martino Valera grins from ear to ear. I always make time for chatter. Say what you will. What do you bring to the Valera household? Is drama an acceptable answer? His grin widens. I make sure the wine cellar is stocked and that sons and daughters alike know how to carry a blade. Farewell. Adieu. Surprised we don't have a quest here. I'm assuming the quest we got from Nira Bardado is going to play a role with the Valeros. I'm guessing we're going to have to pick a family to side with. Or that Laro has a relationship going on with the Valero kid. Have you heard about the commotion at the palace? Of course. Something about Luminous Adra. A giant made of Luminous Adra. All I know is that they're all at each other's throats up there. Standard palace to me. Place is pretty big. So we're here. Two, three, four, five, six areas. Let's check down here because this is one of the places Laro can. Hey, someone's coming. Yeah, this is probably where Laro is at then. Okay, quick save. Against the backdrop of jeering youths, a young woman raises her arms with an air of practiced drama. Before her, two men stand across from each other, mirroring scowls. You both attest that you have made all possible efforts to come to a peaceful... Woman trails off as you approach, and you find yourself the sudden target of the crowd's attention. Who is this Nasenale? How many cousins do you have or so? Laro chuckles. Orso glares at Laro and bites back whatever insult he had at the ready. We have business. What do you want? I'm here to fetch Laro. Nero is looking for him. He chuckles arrives from the bystanders, and Laro's face flushes with embarrassment. The family keeps you on a tight leash, Laro. Will getting impaled on a Valera blade prove something to them? Psst. Watch your words, Of. You want the Juana to know we're dueling? My bad so to the tribals. We should be free to settle matters on valiant terms. Orso glances in your direction with annoyance. Small wonder the old empire collapsed in civil strife if this is the valiant way. He sneers. And how do your colonies fare, Adira? <laughs> Orso narrows his eyes at Alok. I suppose you have a good reason for this duel. This street thug called my family a warren of corrupt inbreds. But is there a dung heap in all the world that does not have a little Valera cousin scratching through it? Laro opens his arms wide and smiles to the milling crowd. That wolf he calls mother would have us live out our days polishing Bardato silver. Orso spits at the ground between them. <laughs> so it looks like we really have to walk on eggshells in this encounter. 
So most of the options are going to give us minor negative with the Valiant Trading Company. Does this have to be settled by death? Surely there are better alternatives. Nothing less than the total disgrace of the Valeras would satisfy me. Then you will die unfulfilled. Orso shakes his head and huffs. Would your families approve of this? Doc? My brother Martino would applaud if he knew. My sister would not approve in the slightest. But this is my duty, all the same. Laro tips up his chin with an imperious smile. Is this slight worth one of your lives? Ak, this is but one chapter in a long anthology of Bardato arrogance. <laughs> arrogance? Per complanquenet, you should thank me for my patience. So... I think my best option here is to prevent them from fighting because my current quest and or contract is to get Laro back home. So... I'm gonna go with option one. It'll be a minor negative, but whatever. I should get positive for returning him home. At least based off Nira's dialogue. She said, do you want to help the Valian Trading Company. I'm a watcher. Do you have any idea what I can do to you? Laro and Orso trade uneasy glances. Their vitriol for each other momentarily set aside. A threat? Liveros? We are the sons of the wealthiest families in Deadfire. Hey, Intimidate's actually a stoic option. Heck yeah. Uh, say nothing. Mila! Scatter! Laro whistles to his attendants, and they break apart in a disorganized exodus from the scene. What? Where are you going, you stuffed shirt? I... Hey, wait! Orso and his comrades scramble to follow suit. This isn't over, you coward! You can't hide behind your corrupt mother forever! Orso leaves the arena in a hurry. As right, so I'm guessing we find Orso back in... Valeria State now. Let's actually swing back by there real quick since we've already explored it. Let's see if we can't speak to Orso before we go to the Ardado Estate. I'm a little disappointed. They got backed into a corner there and I had to get minor negative with the Valian Trading Company. So I, it, I, mean, I guess it makes sense. I've got it. Sansa's Map Emporium. Because we were denying them their tradition. I'm going to guess he's up here in the room with his other family members. Though he may not be. Ado, I hear you witnessed an unfortunate exchange behind the Adra Mill. Atello aims a troubled look at Martino. You kept Lara and Orso from the beyond. We could use such a mediator. Martino has need of muscle and brains outside of the Valera house. Atello frowns toward his son. I had some questions. I will entertain your curiosity. He gestures with an open palm. You're having some kind of trouble with the family next door. Ugh, the Bardato Bank shuts us out of investments and stifles our finances. This is the richest prospect on Eora, but we cannot grow our family business. Can't make coin at the expense of others? Now that's a crying shame. Eyes narrowed. The priestess crosses her arms over her chest. If you know a better way of squeezing profit out of these islands, I'm open to hearing it. Nezali is a rich thug, and someday she will get what's coming to her. 
I want to talk to you about the Bardados. If we must. What is it? Frowning. Atello beckons you to continue. Well, we'll offer this later. I had other questions. Certainly. What is it? You mentioned something about a job. Uh, let me take point on this one, father. Martino pats Atello on the back and turns to you with a more severe, business-like expression. Some royal deadfire crews have lately taken to pirate hunting. One such crew has been boasting of their victories near the Wild Mare, singing their Rawatai songs and making our clients anxious. Hunting principi dogs is our business. With all these problems with the Bardatos, now is not the time for competition from the Brass Citadel. It would be better if they took their business elsewhere. When Atello isn't looking, Martino draws his thumb across his throat. Oh, you could always start shooting a shit out of one another and leave good dead fire folk be. Just a suggestion. I feel like nodding does keep me kind of in the middle. I'm not promising to kill anybody, nor... I guess option four, also. And this also guarantees an exchange, which ties me into the contract. Okay, let's do this. This also make up for the minor positive... Uh, sorry, minor negative we got uh, from the duel. So I'll do it. I want the Valiant Trading Company to know that I was helpful. Was that not implied? Of course, consider it done. Come back when the Rawatai dogs have been dispatched, dismissed, or dismembered. Martina makes a pistol firing gesture with his fingers and winks. Ado, what brings you to the hall of the Valeres? Tello opens his palm, okay. My time is freely given. What would you do with it? Martino winks. So we got a different quest that's not tied to the feud between the two families. I'm going to check downstairs for Orso real quick, just to see if he's around. Not a big deal if he's not. There he is. You're looking prettier than when you left or so. Bella, cut it out. You're gonna make a habit of turning up. You're gonna make a habit of turning up. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's kind of my thing. I'd get involved in other people's business. But I mean, what adventurer doesn't? All right, to the Bardado Estate. You say your lamp nets you souls, I? Mind if I be asking how? Faith can do many a thing, Seraphin. Add a little copper and Audra, and a normal lantern can work miracles. Aye, don't those be the tools of the Animancer's art? Maybe, but I'm no Animancer, that's for sure. I ain't out to play God, only serve mine. Welcome to the Bardado Estate. You can find Azali in her study. Out for trouble or taking in the sights? A little of column A, a little of column B. On it. This instrument appears to enjoy frequent use. It is impeccably tuned. How? Of course. I right, sneak Aloth over here. I'll see what I can find. Oh. I've got it. 
These decorative plates are all stamped with the Bardado seal. These dower portraits seem to observe your movements up and down the corridor. Laro has returned to the estate intact. Belfetto. Nero loosens her grip on her ledger. Too much Bardato blood has been spilled in the name of Vengiata. Say nothing. Here, for your discretion. He passes you a pouch of coins and adds a short mark to her ledger before snapping it shut. You have not met Mother, have you? Nero thumbs her chin, leaving a spot of ink behind. I'm certain she'll have work for someone invested in the family. That's what I'm looking forward to. And I think even for a mercenary, the best bet would be to have a truce between the two families because then you have two families that you can get some return business with versus just the one. So that is the plan. We'll see how that goes. Either way for now, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.